Hello everyone and thank you for joining us for this uh, Google Earth tutorial from Alpha One Enterprises. Today we're going to be doing tutorial number two and this is how to land the plane. Now I'm not quite sure why we are landing the plane before we are taking off, but taking off is a little bit simpler and uh, there are multiple instances where you can land the plane without truly taking off in Google Earth. It's kind of interesting, but we'll cover taking off in the next tutorial, tutorial number three. So here we are um, in Google Earth. I've set us up in Los Angeles at KLAX, the airport, and our airport is somewhere... I'm sorry, wrong screen. Our airport is somewhere in through here, where I'm circling right now. I can't guarantee where it is exactly, because we honestly can't see it right now, but I will guarantee it's somewhere in the center of the screen. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through standard landing procedures and then try to get the plane down without crashing. Sounds easy enough, but it's easier said than done. So let's go over here into Google Earth, and we'll go into the flight simulator, just as we've talked about. Tools, enter. Uh, let's go SR-22, it's a little bit slower for us. I want, make, I want to make sure we're in current view. I want to click Start Flight. Now I'm going to pause this right there straight off so we can talk about a couple things. Just like we talked about in our last tutorial, up here in the top of the screen we have our speed indicator, altitude indicator, flaps, and in this case, we don't have gear, but if you're in the F-16, you would have gear right there. A couple keystrokes to remember. F extends the flaps. Shift F takes away the flaps. In this particular plane, we don't need to worry about gear, but a gear would be taken in and out by using the key G. And then page up speeds up and page down slows down. Now, one more keystroke that we talked about in the last tutorial um, but didn't actually give to you. Whenever you're on the ground, as soon as you hit the ground, I'll explain how to know that. You want to hit the comma and the period button at the same time. What those are, are those are your brakes for the wheels on the bottom of the plane. If you don't use those, you will most likely fly off the end of the runway and crash in a fiery mess. That is not a good thing. So as soon as you hit the ground, make sure you press the comma and period button to slow down. So I'm going to unpause this here and we can get started. So first what I want to do is I want to extend the flaps to 100%. That keeps us slowed down. Now I'm a little bit far out from the airport, so in this case I'm going to pull them back off that way we can get there faster. So like I said, I don't know completely where the airport is, but it's one of those things that in real life they have GPS's, but if they can't see the airport and they can't see the airport. So it's kind of realistic in that sense. So I'm going to look at this situation here. I'm going to pause this. And like I mentioned it in our last tutorial, the elevation down here in this bottom right corner shows the elevation wherever your mouse is. And if you'll notice the negative, that's because it's underwater. So I know that our airport is somewhere in the middle of the screen where my mouse is. So I can see that eh, it's about 150, 100 feet in elevation, somewhere in there. So what I want to do is when we land, this altitude up here in the upper right-hand corner should match what the ground is. That's just something to keep in mind just to know where we're shooting for in the end. So I'm going to fly in, keep our, uh, keep our plane steady, don't tip too much from side to side. As we get closer, once we can see the airport, we might need to make some small adjustments left to right that we can line up with the airport. Google Earth is, to be honest, is not a very forgiving program in the way of landing. So you're going to have to land it pretty square on to the runway, otherwise it's going to complain. And you'll crash and it'll kick you out of the program. Okay, so as I'm, I, I know that I'm getting closer to the airport now. So what I want to do is I want to take my page down, and I'm just going to put us about half throttle or so. Don't want to go too fast, but I also want to get there in a timely fashion. As you can see, I'm also uh, decreasing in altitude. Now, I know that I have a couple thousand feet left to go, so I'm going to start declining a little bit faster than I was. Again, if you come onto the runway too shallow, then you'll miss the runway and 
crash on a fiery mess before you get to it. But if you are too high, you'll overshoot the runway and you'll never even make it to the ground. Okay, so I'm looking for the airport, looking for the airport, and I'm not seeing it yet. So that's not necessarily a problem. Going this going as slow as we are in this airplane shouldn't shouldn't be too big of a deal to hit the runway once we find it. Okay, I just want to, uh, just real quick, just for tutorial purposes, oh, actually, I can't do that, never mind. So we're going to keep on going. <laughs> I was going to show you an aerial picture of the area compared to where we are, but I have no way of doing that without losing our current position. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I see the airport. Um, if you look right up here, I'm pretty sure that's going to be our airport. But I'm not certain. And I'm sorry, I'm quite wrong, I believe. Mm, it's hard to tell. Now see, this is one thing that real pilots deal with in real life sometimes, is it's hard to tell where the runway is. Particularly if you're in fog or something. And I'm hoping that we can actually get some uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator X. I don't know if anyone's familiar with that particular software or not. Uh, it's a very realistic platform for flying. And so might do some videos in that here at some point. Some point. Okay, well, I will be completely honest with you. I have no idea where the runway is. So we are going to make uh, what I consider an emergency landing. So the first thing we want to do... Oh, actually, here's the airport right here. So I'm going to page down, put my flaps all the way out, because we're getting really close, and I want to start decreasing in altitude a lot. Now, I'm not going to hit a runway, because there are no runways nearby, but we can at least try to hit the airport, which should be pretty flat. As long as you're on flat ground, Google Earth will generally let you land the plane. Oh, there's a runway. Never mind. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, so we want to come in closer, 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 page down, get as slow as you can, and smooth out your plane. Your gear are already out in this airplane. And then as you get close to the ground, just level off and very gently set the plane down. Now in this case, we did a good job of keeping it steady, but a lot of times you'll feel a little lump. And there's a small bump here. And as soon as you feel that bump, you want to hit the brakes by pressing the comma and period button, just like I said. And we came to a stop. Unfortunately, we stopped where we did because we were about to fall off the side of a hill. Falling off the side of hills is generally not good. But, <laughs> in other words, uh, we did get the plane landed in this particular tutorial. Uh, so again, this was tutorial number two of the Google Earth Flight Simulator series. The next tutorial, tutorial number three, we'll go over some basic procedures for taking off here in Google Earth. And that's it. So until next time, this is Alpha One Enterprises, and thank you for joining us.